Hello friends, in this video we will build the audio player activities layout. We will be using a media player to read the file from memory, a seek bar to track media player file progress and change it, a play pause button, a backward and forward buttons to jump 5 seconds in a direction or the other, and a chip to display video speed and change it. Later on we will see if we should display a waveform or not. So let's dive in by creating a new activity and empty activity and name it audio player activity add and finish open the layout file split view and first thing let's add a seek bar to track media player progress seek bar and set width to match parent high to wrap content close it here set a margin bottom to 20 dps set the progress to 40 to have a glimpse of the final result progress will be updated reflecting the media player progress and it expects a value between 0 and 100 to change the thumb tint and the progress tint we need to create a new color the color file name it player color and give it a value of ff4349 it's a reddish color here set thumb tint to player color so see here the indicator changed let's do the same thing for the progress tint set to color player and we have it here now let's leave it here for the moment and deal with the control buttons we have three control buttons forward play and backward we'll put them inside a constraint layout that match parents and wrap contents. Let's attach it to the bottom, bottom to bottom of parents, and set a margin bottom to 40. Actually, not to top, but to bottom. Now, inside of it, we will add some image buttons. The first one should be the play button, set size to 66 dp for width and height. Give it an ID id button play and set constraints and to end of parent and start to start of parent okay let's create a new image button for the forward button this one should be 60 by 60 to look a bit smaller than the main button and set the id to button backward this one should be attached and to start of play and start to start of parent let's copy this and change backward to forward now let's remove these constraints and change them to start to start of or start to end of play and end to end of parent okay we have our three buttons now the seek bar let's put the bottom constraint to the top of the constraint layout we just created and add in a margin bottom of 20 dp great now let's create the drawables in drawable new vector assets change this to wait a minute change this to round and look for forward five okay name it ic forward and set next finish okay do the same thing for backward we will change the color in a moment look for replay five and set corners or border to round Okay, and change it, uh, the ID to backward. Okay, now the play and pause buttons. Play circle and round. I see play circle for the name. Same thing for the circle pause, vector assets here. Pause and head for circle, set the fill, switch it to round. Okay, I see pause circle. Now for the button play, set the background to circle play. Okay, for the other ones, set the background to item background borderless and set the source to this one is a backward. And copy these two lines to add them here and switch to forward 
Okay, now let's change these colors to match this one. In the drawables, open IC backward and switch tint to player color. Copy this to paste it in the... Actually, it's not lay circle, but play circle. Let's refactor this, rename. Add a P. Okay. Now change the tint. Same thing here. And same thi thing for pause. And for forward. And that's it. We are ready. Last thing we should do is the chip. So for the chip, at material IO in the chip section, we have the anatomy of the object. We have four things, the container, the thumbnail, which is optional, the close or remove icon, which is optional too, and the text string. We only need the text string. So to add it here, let's go up uh, and above the seek bar, let's add chip. Set width to 60 dp, high to 40, give it an ID, chip, uh, close this, and set text initially to one, which is the normal speed. Align text to center. Set the size to 14 SP. And let's set the bottom constraint to top of the seek bar and the end to the parent, the start to the parent and some margin bottom set to 20. Okay. So that's it for this one. In the next one, we will set up the activity to open a file and read it with the media player. Take care and see you then.